Hello there, I am Giant Grodel. And this is more of my the video, video games that I own inside series. In this episode we are going to go over my Nintendo Game Boy Advance games, I should say. And I thought I had four cartridges of physical copy games. I do I do have um Fire Emblem, just the regular one for Game Boy Advance on uh, Wii U Virtual Console. Then I also have Minish Cap on Wii U Virtual Console, and then I have Castlevania RSR on Virtual Console. Uh, for the Wii U, and then I also have Mega Man X9, I believe, for, um, Virtual Console on, um, the Wii U as well. So I think that's 4 plus 3 is 7, of course. It's the 4 games, yeah. So I think I have 7, uh, Game Boy Advance games in my collection. Nintendo Game Boy Advance games. Nintendo Game Boy Advance games in, in my collection. So I only have these 3 right here as physical cartridges, though. The other ones are, like, um... That's uh, digital, I guess you could say. Digital copies. So, yeah. So, let's start with um, Pokemon Ruby. This is the same cartridge that I've used, uh, that I used for uh, my Pokemon uh, Ruby walkthrough guide. And I don't think it's the same save file, though, but it's the same cartridge. It's pretty cool. It's ready for everyone. It's uh, Pokemon Ruby. It's awesome. Pokemon Gro Groudon in this game, yeah. Nice cartridge. I really like this game. This is, like, one of my favorite... Uh, one of my favorite Pokemon games, actually, because it's so, like, nostalgic and whatnot. So that's that. And then, uh, I also have, um, let me push the action towards here again. Yeah, there we go. I also have Pokemon Emerald, which I, uh, I got Pokemon Ruby, by the way. I got Pokemon Ruby at GameStop, uh, GameStop back in, like, 2010, and I bought it with my own money. Uh, it was around 30 $32, $30, somewhere around there. Um, when get when you, you know when GameStop was still selling uh Game Boy Advance games, you know before they just stopped selling uh used um Game Boy Advance games and they they currently they use they're it's a, we they're uh, selling or um yeah they're selling um used cop use um DS games and 3DS games but now there's changed where um they where it used to be just you know Game Boy Advance games and stuff and even Pokemon. Uh, Nintendo Game Boy Color games and whatnot too. I think at one point. But yeah, there's that. And then, uh, as I was saying, here's Pokemon Emerald. Um, I had a really cool save file. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a big save file. And uh, I actually bought this game. I got this game for Christmas, but the one I get, the cartridge I got was broken. It had a glitch in it because like once it would get, it'd go past like the startup screen and then it'd go to like a white screen. So we actually exchanged it at the GameStop. Um, and I got this copy. Copy, I mean, not not copy, copy. And uh, I got I originally got this technically for Christmas still. And I've looked cool save file. It wasn't mine actually, but uh, I think I made a video called Giant Update where I claimed it was mine. I kind of lied. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I kind of, I just wanted to be cool, like, I wanted to show off this cool, co you know, save file, and I thought uh, it'd be cool if I said mine, and I kind of regret, you know, lying about it and stuff, I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry, guys, I feel bad about that, actually. But yeah, it's Pokemon Emerald, I do recommend it, it's a pretty fun game. And then here, here's my little gem. <laughs> my favorite Pokemon game of all time, it's Pokemon Leaf Green, it's rated E for everyone. Uh, also, Pokemon Emerald right here is rated E for everyone. So yeah, I got this game at a GameStop again when they're still selling Game Boy Advance games, and I still love this game. It's my favorite Pokemon game of all time. I don't have the same. I have a really cool save file. I think I have like a Alakazam that's level 100. I have like a I have a Venusaur that's level 100. I have a Pidgeot that's level 100, and then my, uh, my and then my other three Pokemon are also level 100. So that's awesome. I have like 200 hours I think of uh, playtime on this cartridge, and it's pretty cool. I do like this. It still works. All these, all three of these games still work on my um, DS right here, which I'll show off right here. Yeah, here's my DS. I play it, you know, because I can play uh, Game Boy Advance games. I don't have a th Game Boy Advance SP. I've had. I gave my Game Boy Advance to uh, Matt um, Pistolward, and uh, I also um, I got um, I I've had three Game Boy Advance SPs in my life. One was two were red and one was silver, and I don't have any of those any of the three still, which kind of stinks. I still want to buy. I want to buy a Game Boy Advance SP still, because I know Sam the TBC has had his since like he was nine, and uh, Matt still has uh the yellow and the green and orange one, the special edition ones that like, I called the Nickelodeon Game Boy all the time. But yeah, I do want to get a Game Boy Advance SP again just to play all these. You know, it'd be fun. But I can play this on my DS. And that's pretty cool because it can play um 
DS games and whatnot, or not DS games, of course, right through that, right through that port, and then the Game Boy Advance games go through here, this little slot. So that's awesome. That's my DS Lite there. So yeah, that's that's that. See, that's my Game Boy Advance collection, really. Uh, yeah. So in my next video, I will be doing my Nintendo Wii U game video game collection. So yeah. So yeah, that's the I go again. I would like to wish you goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of my video game collection series where I show off my Nintendo Wii U video game collection.